Hey, new Juju, just uh, trying to get the cameras all sorted out because I was apparently not ready. So, um, that is the wrong person. And six. I may have to do this again when Ryan gets in. people do that <laughs> okay. yeah I didn't I did not get the fa uh, the four player one ready so <laughs> I didn't have all the cameras ready um, and now, uh, new Juju, I am turning on everyone else's audio, so you should hear us all now, rather than hearing everyone, you know, chat <laughs> in between. Um, okay, so, um, welcome to the second episode of um, Magic Mushrooms Mead. I forgot the name of the show for a second there. Um, because it is the second episode and New Juju actually doesn't know who we are, um, because it's only the second episode, uh, I'm Brad, I'm going to be the Dungeon Master. Um, let's start with, uh, Connor, uh, just introduce yourself quickly. Uh, I'm Connor, I am playing Golomov, uh, he is a male... I don't know why I'm reading, uh, a male <laughs> Loxodani monk. Uh, it's been a long weekend, I think, it keeps <laughs> melting my brain. <laughs> um, and Lilith, uh, Melissa. <laughs> I'm Melissa, and I'm playing Lilith Snow Owl, a uh, halfling druid. Okay. And Dylan? Uh, I'm Dylan. Uh, I'm playing Gamos Slyfoot, a uh, changeling bard. And uh, yeah, be tuned for some bard stuff coming up. Alright. Um, and then Foster. Hi, I'm Foster. I'm playing Severin DeVos, half of Paladin. Alright. Um. So, previously on Magic Mushrooms Mead, you guys arrived in Icewind Dale on the um, uh, train that goes up the Sword Coast. Um, you witnessed the apparent border between the Sword Coast and this what the locals are calling Everlasting Rhyme, changing it from Midsummer to the Heart of Winter. Um, you arrived at Bryn Shander, met your uh, tabaxi contact for the Baldur's Gate University named Little Patch, and then while you were in the... Um, while you're in the inn and tavern called the North Look, you were approached by three disheveled dwarves with really seriously bad frostburn, missing ears, noses, and fingers. Um, Iggy started making um, uh, prosthetic, a prosthetic nose and a prosthetic ear for two of the dwarves. And then you guys went out to try to help with the 
um, to help bring back the shipment where their friend had been torn limb from limb by a yeti. Um, when you got there, the sled with all of the iron was nowhere to be seen, so you followed the tracks as best you could as a blizzard began and found a bunch of goblins dragging the um, dragging the sled and we are kind of picking up right there now I have to find the battle music because you guys managed to kill oh geez how many of the goblins you killed uh, one, two, I don't three, know but four, it's been a massacre five, in my six. hand you killed six goblins, and um, I think the other two are fine. Yes. So, this is where we are. Um, unfortunately, well, for some reason, the HP markers are not showing. There we go. So I've got to do it manually for everyone because of the slight bug in the system, but there it goes. It is um, Corbin's turn next, but he is uh, not in, um, Patrick said, to play his character, and what his character was doing was staying back last time. So we will just continue with that. Can he mock one of the goblins as they run away? Um, he probably could. They are currently not running. Um, they are staying in oh. the light. They're still difficult to see because of the blizzard. You can only see oh. about 30 feet, which is what I have right. the vision set up for each of you. Yeah, I forgot about the other ones that were actually at the camp. I, for I forgot that we had killed the ones at the sled already. Yep. We're on step two. And... So... Alright, so Corbin is staying back. A little confused because Lilith had started... Had changed into a bear and started speaking in bear to the polar bear that had come by and is yeah, now following gone. that polar bear over towards where you can hear another one crying out in pain. Um, so, from where you are... Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25... So you, uh, Lilith, you can just barely see a goblin with a uh, bow and arrow in hand. But he's got it pointed towards the ground. He's not doing anything, not helping or hindering anyone. Um, Iggy will be in sometime soon. Um, hopefully he'll speak up when he uh, uh, gets in. So, Iggy wanted to get into range to be able to see stuff, but not close enough range that he's going to be hurt. So, I think he will stop about, uh, we'll say, oh, yeah, he'll use his whole um, movement and action to get up there. And then we have Golomov. It is your turn. All right. Um, wait, hold on. Let me... Okay. Uh, can we zoom out a little bit? See where the goblins are again. Sure thing. All right. Um, this is inconvenient because. I don't really have anything to throw at them, I don't think. Correct. I do not. Can I throw a snowball at them? Yes. 
<laughs> I don't know um, if it's gonna do anything. <laughs> there, I will say what? there are. Some can I throw pieces... a bar of iron at them? Yes, I was gonna say. Can that. I grab a? Can I grab a bar of iron off of the thing and try so to throw one at? That would be an improvised weapon. At um, best. I will say um, disadvantage but you will be able to hit if you move forward a little because you can only oh, yeah. see about 30 up. feet. But yeah, yeah, I'm going to move up uh, towards the fire. 30, so yeah, right up there, you can see both of them. They're at the edge of your okay. vision, but you can see them. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm going to throw it at the one in red. Okay. Isn't it? Yeah, okay. You do see that that one does not... He has a bow and arrow drawn, but they are pointed to the ground, and the bowstring isn't taut. It is just down. Both of them are like that. Actually, the further, the one that's further back has his hand, has a sword in hand that is, again, pointed down to the ground, and a torch in the other hand. Oh, so they're not... Okay, so they're not visibly aggressive. No. They are staring towards where the um, injured bear sounds are coming from, though. Oh, alright. Well, then I'm just going to use my double move... Or I'll just use my action to double move. Okay. Um, wait. And then... Um, I don't think I've got your vision. Oh, no. I need to spend key to do that. I'm not spending key to do that. Six. There we go. So you can see a uh, another goblin in um, uh, basically rags, like took a whole bunch of animal furs and stitched them together, and has some uh, greenish hair poking out the back. Can I visibly? Can we see them interacting with the bear? Uh, that one has a. Uh, what weapon does that one have? Has a scimitar and has a bloody scimitar. All right. I would like to throw. Oh wait, never mind. Uh, that's my turn because I don't think I can use my bonus action to throw that. So, because no. um, it's an improvised weapon. So I don't think that, that would work. Um, okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I guess that's it. So Just gotta... that goblin boss then is going to use two attacks against this polar bear. That is a hit. And that is a hit. So deals Oof. max damage so that is going to be eight. Oh, also um yeah i'm gonna say to severin uh, i'm just gonna like point to the towards the bear or the other bear with severin and be like looks like those ones are the shitheads not those ones All right. like, point out the different like non-aggressive stances so that bear right. cries out in pain as it gets two more hits. Um, you do see that there is an arrow in it, but only one arrow. Uh, the bear, that is. Um, so next is Skamos. You are in the back of it. Uh, well, I'm going to run up. Uh, I guess just behind our bear. Okay. You're gonna use uh, your. Actually, I'm gonna run run closer to, to Connor. I'll use both my actions. Okay. Connor. All right. And Lilith, you are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So you can't quite see the bear but uh, you can definitely hear it. You're muted, by the way. 
thank you. Uh, can I attack the goblin that uh, shot the bear? Am I close enough? 15, 20, 25, 30. Um, uh, bears have 40 movement. Uh, you can. You can get right up with your movement and attack. Okay, so what do I need to roll to attack as a bear? So, um, did I add that for you? I think I did. Um, let me just get into campaign. Ice Dale. Um, and Lilith. Extras. Okay, so if you click on extras, um, okay. you should see a yep. black bear there. And if you tap mm -hmm. on it, that should give you all of its um, actions. So okay. you can make um, two attacks, one with your bite, one with your claws. So that's a d20 plus that number. Okay, so d20 plus... Plus four. Um, plus four. Okay, so I'm going to roll a d20 then. Yep. Do attack. Oh. Sorry. That's right. <laughs> I'm still learning. <laughs> I got a 13. Okay. So uh, 13 is, is not exactly? enough to hit her. So do your next attack with your claws. Eleven. Oh, oh shit. she is. She heard you coming up because you're a bear and you're doing some of those kind of bear huffs and puffs as you're running up. So she pretty deftly moves around your uh, attacks. You do see that she is most definitely uh, female. Are you adding uh, your custom rolling, right? So there should be modifiers to your rolls still. Are you adding those? Oh, yeah. 13 oh. plus 4. So you did hit with that first one. Yeah, because that was a 17. That's what I was yeah. wondering. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot about so that. I hit with the seven. No worries. <laughs> so that means that you can roll your damage for your bite, which is 1d6 plus 2. I rolled a four, so six. All right. So she is uh, she is what we call bloodied. So she's looking pretty bad, um, but not to the point of going down with a second wind, uh, with a breeze. That is. Next is Severin. Okay, just give me one sec here. I just want to check something. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go up to the goblin in red. Okay. I should have enough movement to get right up on them. Yep. Alrighty, and I am going to hit them, and I'm going to cast Healing Strike. Okay. So Healing Strike with the melee weapon I'm good with, and basically when I make a weapon attack against them, I deal my normal damage. Creature within 30 feet of me gains a number of hit points equal to 1d6 that I roll, plus half the damage I deal with my weapon. So I'm going to okay. do a regular weapon attack, and then I'll roll a d6 for the health of all that stuff. All right. Okay. Right. 12. 12 for a goblin is still not a hit. Ah, uh, that sucks. So that one kind of jumps back and uh, right. really <laughs> drops the arrow that he was holding. Alright, well my spell only works on hit, so I didn't cast it. Okay. And that's my turn. Alrighty. The 
polar bear is um, actually still tied up, so it's going to make, uh, it's lost a lot of blood, so it's going to try to hit and misses. And it's friend it is going to run up here and also try with a natural one. So, uh, momentary confusion, you don't add your proficiency bonus to your next attack roll. So he goes to bite and kind of bites above her head. For some reason thinking she was as tall as everyone else around her. Um, and then rolls pretty poorly with his second attack, so unfortunately misses. Um, back to Corbin. He is going to stay um, in sight. He'll get up to uh, Iggy, but not uh, not do anything. And this goblin is going to disengage and run back. Shouts. He he does shout. Ah! Please don't hurt me. And yeah, stays back. Um, the other one readies its uh, <laughs> readies its weapons in a defensive stance. Does not want to get hurt by the giant half orc paladin. Um, and then Iggy is going to move up. Uh, to be able to see. 25. Um, he does not have a shot because that goblin is surrounded by three bears. That's a lot of bear. Yeah. So we're back up to Golomov. All right, uh, I'm going to leapfrog the polar bear and punch said little goblin in the head as many times as elephantly possible. Okay, <laughs> and Ryan's going to be in in about 10 minutes. All right, um, sorry, first attack is actually going to be with a stat, a quarter staff. Okay. Uh, 25 to hit. <laughs> that hits. Alright. Oh my god. Uh, 5 damage. 5? Okay, she is looking pretty bad. I wish the game right. log wouldn't close every time you click on something. Alright. Uh, so from there, after I leapfrog the polar bear, I come down, smack this thing with a staff, I'm going to punch it square in the nose with a trunk. Right. Trunk it straight in the nose. Oh my god. No, I'm not. I'm going to miss <laughs> with a nine. Okay. Using any key? Nah. I don't have huh? that. Well, the other two don't seem hostile. It is technically a short rest. I recovered the mod. No, I don't. I still don't think I kill it in the last hit, though. Anyway, so I will hold for now. That will. She be is turn. looking pretty bad. Yeah. You could kill her with. Uh, okay, fine. The last fine. Hit. Fine. But then I will expend the key and attempt to. Uh, flurry of blue is it then? Okay. Uh, sixteen to hit. Sixteen is a miss. <laughs> but you could kill her. 
You could, you could if you hit her. <laughs> I mean, I even rolled pretty friggin' high, like, or decently high, so... Yeah, but you could have. Mm-hmm. Alright. Well, I get, actually, technically I rolled average, because I have plus six, so... Yeah. I rolled ten. She is going to disengage and pop around because she's unhappy with this polar bear. She is screaming in a language that only Iggy understands, and it is definitely not Goblin. Um, so that's going to be a she hit. She will not escape the budding cold. And that is a miss. So she swings that scimitar and is going to bring that poor polar bear to the brink of death. Uh, Skamos. Uh, no. Uh, I'm gonna run up and see if I can viciously mock uh, oh. the goblin. Only uh. Uh, a coward. Attacks a bear, is what I say. <laughs> well, it's tied up there. Yeah. It's tied up there. Do we know what the bear is tied up with? Um, it is um, basically a harness that would, uh, that is connected to this. Um, let's actually move the player view over um, here. Oh, so it's connected, it's connected to this it like, um, it wagon. Or is it like chains? Um, it is, um, uh, kind of leather and rope. Could I use my action, actually, to try and cut it? Um, you or can I get close enough? can't get close enough with your full movement. Okay, well, we'll just mock the goblin instead, then. Okay. So it's, uh... 13 wisdom. 13 wisdom, okay. Forgot about that. Um, Liz, she is not exactly very wise, but she still, she passes. Well, I guess smart enough. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Um, let's see here. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, I think that that's all for my turn. Okay. Yeah, you used up your entire movement to be able to uh, see her. Um, so, Lilith. Can I try and bite through the leather harness? Oh, yeah, sure. What would I need to... Like, I was wondering, um, could I use my two moves, one to try and bite, and then the other to try and attack, like my double movement? Uh, yeah, you could do that. Um, okay. I'd say it would probably be easier to claw it, and you don't have to do them in the bite, then claw, you just do, you know, both of them in your turn. So you can claw it and then bite her. Okay, so I'm gonna try and claw and see if I can break the, the thing. So I'm gonna roll a d20 plus... Plus four. Is it plus four? Yep. <laughs> No! No, that's a miss. Are you okay, still gonna to go to bite her? Or... I'm gonna try and bite her. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna try and attack her. Maybe even try and get between her and the bear if I can? That's uh, good. not quite. She's kinda almost underneath okay. him. Yeah, and the other polar bear can see that you're trying to help his friend. Um, so, Severin. Alrighty, just for shits and giggles, I'm gonna run straight at this uh, goblin lady. Okay. And I'm going to do a jump and double kick her right in the face. Alright. <laughs> I'm just gonna like pull my up the bear to to like, kick her. <laughs> I'm gonna be like the T-1000, just arm straight, just like running through the snow, <laughs> and I'm gonna jump and see if I can double kick her. All right. 
that was probably just gonna be like a normal like so that's uh, an unarmed attack all right let's see if i can hit her which would be really funny oh milk and cookies a <laughs> natural one on that one. Oh no oh. Ooh. So, natural one. Um, that sucks. So. so that have? <laughs> break a leg. Sidestep. Like <laughs> um, your card is sidestepped. You swap places with the target and make a uh, dexterity saving throw. On a failed save, you fall prone. All right. That's my saves at. I only have a minus one in that. Oh, four, so I fall prone. Yep, you are prone. She, she saw me coming she through, saw through the coming. darkness. This <laughs> giant old man sideways like, through the air. It's like, oh shit. And you. Did yeah, you knock yourself out? <laughs> no, he, he basically landed on his ass. <laughs> yeah. yeah Moved last second, I just, like, just biff it into the snow. Yeah. And this polar bear can barely do anything, so he's going to swing and, ooh, he hits her. At least I moved her out of the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he mauls her. Like, one really good swing and just takes her down and then goes in and bites her neck and she's <laughs> done for. I imagine I came flying in, land on my ass, then she like la like turns and laughs at me and all of a sudden she gets totally Loki Hulk action <laughs> to my yeah. fucking bear. <laughs> That's oh, basically what happens, yeah. No, who's just like standing there a little bit horrified. <laughs> <laughs> so... Saturations we want. There we go. So she is down. Oh, we lost someone's oh we got a camera, didn't we? Oh, yeah. Alright. Now I get to play with these all over again. Um, oh not a camera, I want. Might be a seven. little quiet for a little bit. Of heat and supper. Okay. It's fair. So you guys are looking at a post in now. Alright. Ah. Don't lie to us, you're nude, aren't you? <laughs> well, how else do you eat chicken nuggets? Come on. <laughs> you guys don't get the chicken nugget sweats? Oh. Oh, no. I got like I, three I gotta... towels on my chair right now just to absorb it all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The oh. nuggy sweats. <laughs> the nuggy sweats? Not yet. <laughs> Let's get this correct. Um, so can Melissa hear us as uh, when we speak? But yeah. We just can't understand her. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, pretty much. God damn it. Wait, is, aren't you telepathic too, or am I crazy? Those don't don't. Uh, maybe I'm crazy. I thought I heard. Not all of them. Yeah. Okay. There's a few races. There's a few races that are. It should. Your your telepathy, I'm pretty sure, do because you keep all your same like intelligence and everything. And when you're a druid turning into a bear, but not like like if you were polymorphing, no. Unless it's true. Oh, okay. Was it true by that? So I think you should still get it. And that's a DM. She uh, uh, does not get the. Um telepathy anymore um, oh, okay. because she takes the game statistics of the uh, um, creature that oh, she man. is uh, that she's changed into but she keeps her um, intelligence and wisdom and stuff oh there's a second me in here um, okay so that's Lilith that is Big me. Uh, you should keep it, you. I like the look. <laughs> okay, let's move hmm. that one. Oh. And... God 
the yeah, omnipotent it's... being known as Double Brad. Double Brad. Um, okay, so Double that Brad. one is Iggy. Can we go there? And do I have an extra one? I think I have an extra one. I'm not sure. Triple Brad. <laughs> Triple Brad. Okay. Um, and yeah. Brad on Brad on Brad. Brad on Brad on Brad. Okay, so um, where am I going here? We're okay. Ice cream sandwich right now. So. Yeah. We have to get some water. <laughs> okay. Um, While you're doing the camera stuff, I'm gonna get myself ice cream sandwich. I'll keep my camera on. Okay. Cool. So that it doesn't mess with you. All right. I'm gonna grab me an ice cream sandwich, y'all. All right. Um, so, um, the other polar bear starts licking his friend, trying to clean up some of the wounds. Corbin doesn't know what to do, and both goblins drop their weapons and put their hands up. Don't hurt us. Yeah. Uh, I would like to attempt to stabilize the bear, uh, if I can. Okay, so it is not down, um, but you could spend probably uh, two actions using a um, uh, healing kit, using some bandage bandages and stuff to... Uh, I have a healing kit. I don't think I bought one. Okay. I have one. So Iggy is next, so you can run up and do that if you like. Well, uh, our, our... Uh, sure, that depends what you guys are doing. Was. So does it look like Golomov is trying to help this thing out? Um, it would. It looks like he might be, yeah. Uh... All right, I'll just run up to Golomov if I can, and I'll I'll give him the healer's kit. Okay. So you hold out your healer's kit, and then comes up to Golomov, who is going to uh, spend an action to start bandaging. Is everyone stopping, or are we continuing in um, initiative? I'm not concerned about the goblin, or... Golomov is no longer concerned about the golem, uh, goblins over there, obviously, yeah, they, if I'm tending to them. I'm just going to try and them, that's it. Okay. Um, Alright, so... We will switch to Calm. Hello, Franklin. I'm going to go and intimidate the goblins. Okay. I, I want to just, uh sort of talk out loud to uh, Melissa so she can hear us uh, but we can't understand her I was going to say if only we could convince these oh, wait. Okay. I'll just wait a sec uh, but you go go ahead with your intimidation on the goblin I'm just going to cling my sword on my shield and be like ah get out of here ah Scram! <laughs> Scram! Um, they go to their... They scram over to their um, uh, wagon. Hey, get away from the wagon! It's our wagon now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, get out of here now. This is university yeah. property. <laughs> um, I'm just going to change them out. One of them, one of them says, of please, please, he'll kill us if we don't bring something back. Well, I'm gonna kill you right now if you don't get going. So, yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Says, you'll kill us, but he'll kill our families. Sounds like a you problem. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'll, uh, wait, oh, well, I guess I'm tending to the bear, never mind. Um, I'm like, who's, okay. who's gonna kill your families? The boss. Her brother. Like, I'm not, uh, her brother? Where's where 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 are they at? Where they where they be too? Sounds like they need a family reunion. <laughs> I agree. Um, let me open up. The... It's better to dig one hole for two bodies, you know. 
<laughs> um, it is called, um, I believe that's the one. Yes, it's, uh, Can I, Damn can I see him words. intimidating these things? Karkalok. That's the name or where they are? That's where they are. Okay. Can I assist Severn on an intimidation check by pulling out my shovel and saying, um, we could make them dig their own graves. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm also going to help by turning Ooh. into the now dead goblin, um, <laughs> but as a changeling. Okay. And say, uh, we're going to visit my brother. So, <laughs> you are a... V I don't think it changes your size, does it? <laughs> no. She was like a giant version of her. So you were a very tall version of her. I'm gonna go go up on my knees, like, see if see if they even okay. notice. <laughs> so I just imagine, like, it's not even, like, a proportionate body type. It's, like, it, it's just, like, your short body, but all of a sudden it's a really long neck and then a head. <laughs> Um, you see one of them pisses his pants nightmare. when he sees you as, uh, <laughs> as her. We're, we're right, going well, to... How many is in this camp? Head count, let's go. Um, there. says, just us, you killed the rest. Well, no, like, where are the other guys at? In Karkalak. Oh. Yeah, or Karka whatever. It's not a camp, it's a it's a town. It's a town? A town in the mountains. Is that just goblins or what's all there? I, I seem to have hit my head. What's my brother's name again? Uh Yarb. <laughs> Yarb. Yarb, that's right. So my Yarb first knock. Like. He he there's there's goblins and the the ones that didn't grow right and then ones like her okay so like so how many of them there I don't know no. they don't let us learn I don't know how to count oh how wow. many fingers and toes um lots <laughs> a few lots of fingers Um, it's not my job to educate you on how to do your learning. So this is what we're gonna do. You're gonna walk away without anything and just run away with your family. Sound good? He won't let us leave. He's got some faithful that follow him. Only... Uh, only the wise Well, you stay one. there right now. Don't take shit. That's so, not you guys can move this thing by yourself anyway. Says... If we take the body, he looks at uh, Skamos and says, "Well, I don't, I don't, I don't understand what's going on. I saw her die, but now she's standing there, and yeah, she's kind of like, don't worry about it. It, it was just a flesh wound." <laughs> he uh, just shuts his mouth. Mouth then just. And like drops his head and like in Guys, severe in the deference wagons, to you. Take a break. Take a break. We, we need to have a big boy minutes. conversation. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. I'd like to call this next operation uh, Operation Bear Gang. Um, <laughs> if, if you can hear me, Lilith, I'd like to, for you to uh, talk to our fellow bears here and see if we can't try and uh, get them to maybe haul our uh, found cart of iron for us. Sure. If they're hungry, tell them they can eat all these goblins on the floor here. Yeah, feel free. We don't need them anymore. Yeah, yeah so um, uh, I relay that message to the okay. bears. Um, the one that's like hurt, is that one being taken care of right now? Uh, yeah, yeah, Golomov is bandaging yeah. him up. Okay. So I guess I'm, I'm talking to both of the bears. So what, what's their, what's their response? Um, they, well, one of them says, 
the the one that you had talked to originally, not the injured one, says, "I just want to be free. I don't want to work for two feats anymore." That's fair. Mm-hmm. Would I okay. think our bird friend be able to haul our whole thing of iron or not? Nah? Um. He... I mean, I'm still a bear, so yeah. Can I haul it? You could you could pretty easily haul it. Um, okay, so I'm gonna. Oh, I guess I can't say anything, but I'm kind of like talking to the bears and shaking my head, and I'll say, you know what, you deserve to be free. Eat whatever you want. Take your fill of the the goblins on the ground, and and uh, go go off and be with your brethren. And then I might just walk up to the um, the iron thing and be like. Kind of point my head towards it. Like, okay. Oh, take it. <laughs> All right. I, should we do some bear charades, or I, I think I kind of get the gist here. What's in this? I think um, like walk up to the thing and be like. <laughs> what's in the? I'm gonna. Uh... Speaking of this big ass cart, what's in it? Um, yeah, I thought we could be looking at. So. Is this little iron. Uh, that one. Let me find... So, yeah, we found the one that we got sent to go get from the doors with all the iron on it. And we're gonna... uh, I made sure to stick a torch on it so that we didn't lose track of it in the goddamn snow. (laughs) Um, And so the plan, I believe, was to stick the bird on that one. So... Uh, Why can't I remember what it's called? Um... Axbeak. Not Chocobo. Oh, Ax- George. There we go. George. George. <laughs> yes, George. Uh, so George was going to tow the iron um, cart. So if we want to steal this cart, you would need someone to try and steal it like that. You do have uh, a... Uh, um, you do have another sled that has the body of the dead dwarf as well. Oh, I thought that was the one I said I was going to pull. Uh, that's the one that um, George is tied to, is harnessed on. Yeah. No, 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 the one that the uh, polar bear was tied to, I thought that was the one that I could take, and George takes our original sled. Um, so George is on the original sled. Yeah, but there's, there's, there's a third carriage here, though. Yeah, there's a sled yeah. with iron on it, and then there is a uh, cart that had the two polar bears on it. Yeah. yeah. So there's three. So there's, there's one three. that iron. There's one that we brought, oh. and then there's the one that we're around right now. That's like this canvased thing that I want to see okay. what's on it, because that's a pretty oh, sweet thought, ride. Sorry. I got confused. I thought we knew it was on the cart that the yeah. polar bears were, here, were uh, pulling. No, we're no, not we're sure. Not. So that's what they're uh, what's on it. Checking now. I want to speak to the goblins again. Okay. Yeah, I'm um, gonna threaten them some more. <laughs> so I poke one of them with the shovel. And then I ask him, what do you mean by the ones that grew wrong? Um, he says, um, they, they didn't feed them when they reached the age, so they couldn't grow. But they still changed. Um, so you know what? that the goblin life cycle is when they reach um, 12 to 15 they begin to um, they reach a uh, metamorphosis time they need to eat a lot of food that's what all those goblin raids hundreds of years ago were about they needed food in order for the young goblins to continue their life cycle Um, they very quickly within about two weeks grow up to be six foot tall um well muscled hobgoblins and then from there they don't metamorphose but they don't stop growing as they age and by the time they're about 40 they are about seven or eight feet tall and very hairy with really long arms which is bugbears. So if they don't have the food, they still go through the metamorphosis, but they can't grow. So 
you think they might be a little malformed in their um, growth cycle. Makes sense. Uh, can I make myself look like a hobgoblin, but with the the face of a the girl goblin, and try and explain to them that they uh, used magic on me to complete my my age cycle? So, um, <laughs> this whole time you've been having a hard time doing her face, and uh, this time it is still very difficult. Um. There's something wrong about her face, other than just, um, other than just that she's a goblin compared to your uh, smoother, um, your smoother changeling face. Okay. And Iggy, you do remember that she was um, shouting goblin curses. Or not goblin, gnome curses. Yeah, strange. Uh, can I use detect magic to see if there's any magic nearby? Yeah. Um, it's my last you detect a tiny bit of magic on her. Probably go and inspect that then. Okay. Did we find out what's in this? Uh... What's in um, <laughs> yeah, so inside that is um, there are uh, dried rations and um, a uh, there's a bucket, uh, not a bucket, a barrel of water and there's another barrel that seems to be getting filled with water or having had water used. There's a cauldron over a um, a well protected small fire that seems to be boiling water and if you had to guess it's probably to um, boil off any um, impurities in snow and then pour it into the uh, open barrel and there are a couple other areas that seem to be for staying warm there's no additional weapons or anything like that on here it is it looks like it's a um, traveling cart for a handful of goblins to uh, sleep in as they travel Alrighty then. Alright. So this doesn't up the, these goblins? Do they not escape? Well, they have to run off into the blizzard by themselves and die, or they could just die. So it kind of yeah, depends. So, or see, we could is... take them to, um, back to the, um, Bridge Shatter? Wait, wait, which ten town are we in? Bridge Shatter? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure we could get some sort of reward for, uh, capturing some brigands on the road. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. They, they do not resist. Um, All right, dip and shit. Um, Let's tie them up. I, I was going to talk to him and be like, well, uh, figure out why they came here and uh, then tell them, uh, well, go home and comfort your families until we come and slaughter them all. But, well, I mean, taking them in for ransom is okay too. Or... Like what kind of like you know what maybe we can make them our little little minions. Well, we should see what other kind of information we can try to extract from them, as it seems like these goblins are raiding these roads. So we would probably yeah. get rewarded for stopping the raids. Uh, so we can we can did we get tipped off with something like that where they said they were having lots of raids lately? Or am I crazy? You're crazy. Uh, I don't. No one I don't mentioned have that. Any, I don't have anything jotted for that. I know that it was we we're out here because three dwarves got raided. Um, they got basically. attacked by a yeti. They got attacked by a yeti, right? Yeah. So but these goblins. Hold up. They must have, you know, controlled these bears somehow in order to get them to pull this, right? Like, is it abnormal for them to have polar bears pulling their stuff? Um, 
you're not sure about that, but it would uh, make some sort of sense for them to uh, be able to, um, possibly. You are digging through, um, you're digging through her stuff to find this yeah. magic, and you do find two potions. Uh, they are both labeled as animal friendship. Oh. So that could be why. And um, from the discussion that Lilith heard, I mean, you don't know this yet, but Lilith, you heard them discussing it, how they, um, how one of them seemed to be somewhat browbeaten and um, on board with whatever they were doing. Um, only the one was very independent and no, let's go for the goblins, the ones that are hurting us. Um, as you dig through her stuff, um, you also find um, a pouch that has a bone whistle um, and some little pieces of uh, some little coins. Uh, you generally don't see too many coins nowadays. It's mostly bills, but you do find um, 13 little coins of silver and 25 of copper. Um, as you're going over her, you notice the reason that you were having such a problem with her face is that's not her face. She's wearing a mask. It is a leather mask. You think it might have been a goblin before, but it's not a living goblin anymore. So, uh, it, when I try and take that mask off, like, what does it look like underneath that? Looks like a gnome. She's got green hair, um, gnomish, gnomish features, um, Strange thing, her mouth is slightly open, and you see all of her teeth have been sharpened. And she has a few scars on her face. So, what so milk and cookies is this? was this an actual goblin's face that was stretched out and kind of looked like leathery? Or are we talking like this is a really well-made mask? It looks like it was an actual goblin. I think it's it okay. has a name, does it not? The, uh, they were referring to her by something because I know my brother's name is Yard. So yeah. maybe I should go ask what my name is with my new found mask. All right. Do you want to ask as her? Yes, as as her. I I want to say again, this this what? head knock. Yeah, that's that's her brother. Yarb Lock, I Yarb think. Yarb Gnock. Yarb... So his name is Barry. Yarb. Yarb Lock. It's Barry Lock, isn't it? Barry Gnock. Like Ganache? Gnock. What the? That sounded funky to me. That sounds mighty fishy, y'all. Wait. Um, if I look at her, do I think she's a forest gnome? Um, she probably is. Um, give me a, give me a straight, say, intelligence check. How do you spell, how, was it, what was his last name again? How do you spell that? G-N-O-C-K. 23. Okay. So she looks very familiar, and you have flashes of memory of being on some sort of um, boat or a ship and seeing her um, in a similar um, state as you are, uh, tied down with something. Uh, like from 50 years ago? 
Yeah, from about that long ago. That's all I can all right. remember? That's all you really remember? Um, either she's with those captors or she managed to escape like you did. But now she's dead, so I can't learn anything. Right. How much do I know about, uh, like, speak with the dead and stuff? Um, you know it's something that can be done. Alright, I'll tell the group, we need to take this body. Alright. What was her name? Did we ask them? Um, one of them says, Izobai. Hizzle by. How do you, what's that backwards? Because I feel like that's the real name. How's it spelled? I Z O B A I. When no one's looking, I double check all my teeth to see if they're regular or not sure. They are all regular. <laughs> um, some of them look kind of broken. They're not, um, they're not uniformly sharp. It looks like they were filed down. There's something fishy going on here. Well, don't worry about it right now. We'll have to come back and find this berry at another time. So I like this this wagon here. So like, we don't have enough to pull all this shit. So should we just like come back for it, or what do you guys think? What What are you talking we're about? Where are we at with the the injured bear? Like, did the injured bear say they wouldn't? Yeah, help? they. Uh, I know the green bear said they were just wanting freedom. The bears but... are fucked off. Yeah. Uh, have they yeah. fucked off, or do we? I think the bears wanted to just take off. They I mean, we do to... have two potions of animal friendship. If, if um, we to... one of them was okay with staying, the other one wanted to fuck off. Okay. Well, if we got the one, we got uh, the bird that can help us as well, and we got. We don't need their. We don't need bear. them bears. No, we don't need I, both of them, but we got one of them. So no, that, you got one of them, and then you've got your bear. Um, I think it's for an hour. And uh, do it, I have enough time to pull it? Like, is it an hour to where our destination is if we go back to town? You were. I don't think we were that far. Uh, right? It was an hour run. Um, let me see your wild shape. So you have two she might have a... per short rest. So when you change back, you'll be able to change into a bear again. So you have more than enough time to take it um, to take it with you. Okay. Uh, and I'm thick enough that I can uh, pull the sled with the two bodies on it. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we should use the other bear and the bird to pull the caravan then. BRB guys, sorry. Okay. Well, I'm, I don't know if we need both because if we just keep the caravan empty, it shouldn't be that heavy and like. It has water and stuff in it though. Yeah. I guess. Um, and and also, I something for a bit of a campfire. Um, just so you know, the sled with the iron on it is. Um, 300 pounds plus the iron um your sled with the bodies is um 100 150 plus the two bodies yeah i got like 600 pounds of drag weight I'm okay. okay if i have to i'll help him move whatever one he's moving okay i am um, big cute so elephant cues you could I'd say the best way to do it, if you've got uh, two bears and a bird, you could probably get the two bears and Axbeak to um, pull the uh, wagon and toss the um, iron into the wagon. And then and forget their sled. Yeah, and then you've got a uh, an easier uh, sled to pull. Yeah, do that because I want to keep it. Can we? We're probably be able to keep the wagon, right? Because it was the goblin's wagon, or was it the dwarf's wagon? Uh, it was the goblin's. Or do we know? It was 
the goblins. Alright, um, so we're gonna lose out on this, uh, we're gonna lose out on the yeti, though. Well, the what? hunt wasn't for the yeti, though, it was for the iron. Yeah. yeah. We yeah, can go back out and find the Eddie. friend's head is missing, though. No, we have the head, I thought. No. Head no, is missing. it's missing. Oh. You found everything uh, but the head. I, find it, I think it's going to be a real... But it's a blizzard right now, and the last thing I want to do is go hunt for a head in the blizzard. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we could ride out the blizzard in the cabin, or in the, uh, in the wagon here. We could. Also, <laughs> yes, we got sideways. these two chumps here. We could use them as Yeti bait. Okay, sure. Yeti bait it is. Say less. I mean, that's not what good people do. Well, oh, wait, I'm not good people. Eat, we're just going to yeah. have them out there, and we're going to ambush the Yeti. Good call. I change it. <laughs> I don't know either. Um, Maybe turn it sideways and then turn it back. We can make a deal with these two guys. Uh, <laughs> if you agree to be Yeti bait for us, we will let you go. It's even worse. <laughs> I don't know how to help. <laughs> Are they okay with being Yeti bait? They are not. They they don't like the sound of that. Um, but they don't seem to have much choice. Um, does anyone you talk to them? Thing, guys. Iggy, are you a you're a gnome, right? Yep. Um, I'm actually gonna give you the the mask because I can just transform into them, and you're actually the same size as her. So I think you would be better suited with the mask. I take it with like two fingers, and I'm like, uh, thank you. <laughs> <How much? laughs> like, what do I do? <laughs> You're too kind. It's okay, just gonna... stretch skin over top of a mask, right? Or is because it like an are... old fleshy face? It's it's a fleshy face that was turned into a mask. Oh, sweet. So Texas it's like Chainsaw a mask style. Texas Chainsaw Massacre Slipknot kind of mask. It's uh, not like just the face the either. Ones, right? It's enough of the scalp that she could wear it. And then like um, like Slipknot, there was space for the for her hair to come out the back. Crazy. You know what would be really nice? Like a goblin leather boots. And I turn and look at the other goblins. They are <laughs> not <laughs> liking you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for a second. So I go and talk to them. I'm going to use my plaintiff feature. Okay. These are two hillbilly goblins, right? Yep. And I'm going to go, legally speaking, as of the Ten Towns Doctrine of Prima Nocta, you have to follow what I say being your captor and lawman. Um, yeah. Do you have to roll anything for that uh, background feature? Yeah, it would be like a it would be like a persuasion check because you're trying to like yeah give me that mix them up with like legalese oh only 11. i um i walk around the corner and say uh you, you heard him boys as uh is ob <laughs> So, so now I roll at disadvantage. <laughs> and then I'm, or I can just look and I'll be like, I am the law. <laughs> <laughs> can I, can, will, that, will I give them advantage if I scream at them because I am the I law? I would say yes. They are kind of, <laughs> they're scared. <laughs> of Skamos and Severn. Um, Iggy is trying to be nice. Okay. So that is meeting their... Bad their... cop, bad cop, and maybe kind of a okay cop. Yeah. That's meeting their wisdom we, we just... check, so I would say yes, you do get them. Um, they kind of start pleading their case to you. Um, they were out scouting for food and they came across a um, sled with a bunch of iron on it and they thought well the person who was dragging it is dead there's no animals around and we've got this so i mean our boss if we can't bring back food enough food for 
what he wants. At the very least, we can bring him some iron to make some more weapons. Otherwise, you know, our family's lives are on the line. How about this? You help us catch this Yeti, um, and I only want its fur. I'll let you take the meat. They are okay with that, yeah. But you guys don't get your uh, sweet wagon back, so let's iron wagon that. How do we bring the? <laughs> you heard him, boys. How do we bring the meat? We'll give you a sled. Well, uh, we'll give yeah, the small. We we'll small wagon. I'll give you guys a small wagon. Just say that you got attacked, but we're able to come back with this and the Yeti meat or something. You you make up the lie. Oh, I don't care. Okay. Okay. You goblins, all I care right now is here. I pull out like some like fat from like an old steak or some like some sort of food thing. I'm like slather yourselves with this fat. I want you to be nice and juicy for the Yeti. <laughs> make sure you get all that nice juicy musk on ya. All right. Uh, just keep pulling out like us all fatty rations, just like smothering it on them. Bathe yourselves with this. Well, they scout around here. Um, I'm just going to ask them. Do they know of any Yeti caves? Um, they say no idea. We I, haven't seen any Yeti. Are they slathered? Um, they're slathered enough. Use my... <laughs> Uh, I want to use my identify spell on that um, bone whistle that I got. Okay. If I can. Um, it appears to be non-magical. It's just a whistle. Are we uh, are we waiting out the blizzard in the in the can in the thing? Yeah, we're gonna try and ambush this yeti. So, goblin boys, come here. I need you guys to dance on the fire and get real sweaty. You gotta get that stank up. Let's go. Top no, no, no but I mean like. Are, are we waiting? Are we not right waiting out? Like, yeah. yeah. Like, we can't even see 30 feet in front of us, so I feel like the Yeti's not going to come out even in this weather. That's, like, probably the perfect time for the Yeti to come out. They, they can see through this. Um, they got snow blind sight. Probably. Ooh, does anybody know? I don't know anything about animals, so... I don't either. I just kill them. Um, uh, if you wait <laughs> it out, there will be no tracks to follow. Um... But then again, you didn't follow the Yeti tracks where you started, and you don't know if you're going to be... By now, you don't know if you're going to be finding any tracks. Do we want to backtrack on these bear tracks, or where are we thinking of going? Or do we want to try and go back to town now? I like, think I think at this we point, can. we should just wait out the storm and see if any Yetis show up. We'll just spend time doing watches. Okay. Let's try and burn the dead goblins if the bears didn't eat them and see if we can get some goblin stank up to get the yeti out. Oh my god. <laughs> One of them got That's on you, son. pulled I'm away. Not I'm not gonna burn them. I just wanted to watch these guys just sweat in horror as I turned them into live, like, meals for the yeti. Right. <laughs> this is too weird fun. for me. I'm, I'm gonna go into the wagon. Okay. I'm going to command the goblins to start doing jumping jacks. I'm like, come on, work up a sweat. Go! <laughs> I'm just fucking with them They're, now, they're scared bad. shitless. It doesn't take much to do this with them. Uh... going to make them do burpees. You know. So how, uh, how long do we end up waiting out the storm, and how many watches do we need? I'm guessing that's what we're doing, um, right? Waiting out the storm will be... Should we group up our wagons and stuff first by the fire that we have here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, we, we can, like, stack a couple of the wagons close together so that the um, axe beat can have, like, a little shelter between them or something. Okay. Like, away from the wind. Kind of like stack everything in a triangle around the uh, around the fire to keep keep everything contained. Okay, um, we don't need that anymore. Should we stack the iron bars into an igloo? <laughs> no. Um, um, not quite. I yeah, mean, if you want to spend. 
several hours doing it, go for it. 